because somebody who used to work at Fox News told me she was too smart for Fox News and she really <laughs> needed to be somewhere that was really thoughtful and rigorous. And, and, um, and so I've had different responses from different people. The folks at CNN have been amazingly supportive because they are, um, they're my colleagues now and they're just great and supportive. And a lot of my old friends and family from Fox News have been really incredibly supportive too. Um, and I just think like anybody who is in the cable news space gets that what we're doing is very different and is probably needed. Um, but your old boss, for example, emailed me and was very kind. Uh, and, and so actually, I actually been waiting for, um, I don't know, really sort of waiting for another shoe to drop, but so far it's been, we've, we've had this, we've been very lucky to have a really pretty awesome reception, universally, I would say. What's the reaction from guests when you reach out? I mean, the show's still new, right? So like, it's new, but you don't have like, to pitch a new show because everybody yeah. knows what firing line was. Yeah. I mean, are they like amazing. skeptical at first that it's the same? You know, are, are they excited? Sure. It's like we're riding on Buffy's coattails a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and I'm joyful, and I have to be. I just want to say something. Like, I, uh, I, 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 I was actually very trepidatious about doing this because William F. Buckley was such an icon, and. And I am not trying to be him, I'm not trying to pretend to be him, but like, you know, that's, I also really respect that legacy because legacies are important. And I, um, I didn't, I did, it was really important to me that, that the, the people who are the caretakers of Buckley's legacy um, knew that I was approaching this with kick butt, like with, with a sincere interest in recreating the tradition and not trying to be him and or say take anything away from what he did or ruin something that they created and um, and so I you know I, I reached out to Chris Buckley William F. Buckley's son and um, also the folks at the National Review Institute and and they've been extraordinary and I, Chris Buckley has been one of the biggest boosters of the show and this effort and I am indebted to him for his support um, so so that's that's been that's been we've been very lucky. Hi, my name is Olivia. I recently graduated from Rutgers Business School with a degree in marketing. We studied at length the Zuckerberg and Congress deposition, and in my opinion, it showed a complete lack of education and knowledge amongst Congress, amongst social media in general. Um, I watched the whole deposition, and some of the questions they were asking showed a total lack <coughs> of knowledge of general functionality of Facebook. So my question to you, as someone who has worked in the White House, been inherently involved in politics, how do we educate the key politicians of the nation on what social media is, what it means to millennials, and the future leaders of America? We need to elect more millennials. We need to elect, <laughs> elect more millennials. That's a cyclical <laughs> issue, so how do, we, how do we educate and how do we grow the people we have in office now to become more aware and more um, educated because they think that social media means one thing when it's so deeply rooted. I mean, for God's sake, the president uses Twitter every day to communicate with the global masses. So, how do we educate? Yeah, he's actually pretty good. He's probably better than the average member of Congress by a lot. Well, with his, with his content creation. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. his content, but yeah. how do we, how very how do we make it useful? How do we tell politicians who are 50, 60 years old what social media means to people? Besides just posting a status on what I had for breakfast. Um, right, you're right. I, like I don't know how you educate Congress to do anything, truthfully. Um, but that's what, that's what we're, you know, we're trying we're trying to do. Um, uh, I, I mean, seriously, it's what, what I will tell you is what you are echoing is a frustration many people in many industries feel about Congress because I mean the sad part, the great part about Congress, but also the the part you know you have you might have some members of Congress who who totally get it. Um, and then you're going to have some who are like more, you know, who just aren't going to get it at all. But that's true for really every industry and every issue. 